Speaker sensitivity is super important. The speaker sensitivity is telling you the efficiency of the driver. Many see the wattage as a direct correlation to how loud the speaker is going to be. And you can say for max SPL, like for how loud it can play if you have unlimited power from an amplifier, it will tell half the story. The other half is how efficient is this speaker driver. So that's why that when you look in your data, your TL small parameters, your, your data for the speaker driver, you will see sensitivity, let's say 91 dB for like a tweeter like this, 1 watt, like 1 W slash 1 M, which means 1 meter. So 1 watt, 1 meter, it will produce 91 decibels. So you see how important that is for the speaker to sound right. So, because if you have a woofer, like this one, that's my guess, like 87 or 88 decibels on one watt. Well, now when you start to play music, and this guy here is at 91, and this might be like 25 watt or 50 watt, and this one is maybe 100. Well, you might want to think that maybe this one was louder, but no. The 91 decibels for the one per one watt will make that this tweeter will play a whole lot louder than the woofer. So that's why sensitivity is one of your most important data on the speaker driver. And if you ask me, more important than wattage because as long as you're not pushing everything to the very boundary of what it can do, sensitivity is the one that will actually provide you with sound that's worth listening to. There's nothing worse, well no, there is, of course, but, but it's definitely terrible to listen to a speaker where the tweeter has too much sensitivity compared to the rest of the speaker because that would sound thin and like there is no bass because there wouldn't be compared to this tweet. It was played so loud against it. So sensitivity is important that you add the same. What you do then is that you create a, in your crossover a dampening of this tweeter. You can burn off some of this excess energy let's say three decibels, you can burn that off into resistors. That's another video, but this video is about, just about this, about the sensitivity. Now, the data will show you the last thing, which is also very important, is that let's say 91 and 88 dB, like decibels, but actually, that just represents an average. That resembles an average. If you really want to get nitty gritty with this and make sure that this becomes very nicely tamed and, uh, and with a nice uh, uh, experience, you will look at the frequency response, the entire range of frequencies and how loud they are. Because there you will see it represented. Get us near and have fun with your speaker projects out there. Take care, guys.